Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the second chapter of my book, which is titled, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. Chapter two is about creating the mindset of a sales superstar. Often people talk about sales techniques and how to close and the old phraseology of ABCs of selling always be closing, but the game has changed. You cannot do that and be successful anymore. And one of the things that I think we miss the most in life, whether it's sales or any other topic, is the ability to create the right mindset for anything that you want to accomplish. That has to come first. Nothing else will matter, nothing else will be accomplished until that is set. It's like building a foundation of a house. Well, some of you watching this may be looking at my jacket and you can see I'm a Buckeyes fan. Uh, I love football and last night I watched the Buckeyes win a bowl game in football and so I'm a happy man today being that I grew up with Buckeye football in Ohio. Now you may like Buckeye football, you may dislike Buckeye football, but at the end of the game some of the people said, well you were kind of lucky to win. And I guess there could be such a thing as what I call just dumb luck, but for the most part I think all of us put ourselves in a position to be lucky whether that's good luck or bad luck. I don't believe that it's just by happenstance the majority of the time, if any of the time. And I think that's the case in the game last night where you put yourself in a position to be successful and to win. And that comes from creating the right mindset. In the second chapter of my book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, where we're talking about the mindset, one of the first things I talk about was about five years ago, um, I had a little battle, a little challenge with cancer. Now, I'm a lifetime non-smoker. I exercise, lift weights every day, eat well, try to take care of myself. But yet, the type of cancer I got was from a type uh, that most people would have gotten if they were lifetime smokers. I've never smoked in my life. Uh, I've always taken care of myself, but yet I got this cancer. So, the first thing that I did was I began to educate myself and I began to try to create a mindset that I would be successful and I immediately before I took my first treatment I knew that I was cured I really believed that and I set up a game plan all based upon my goal and what the daily actions would be and I put myself what I believed was to be in a position to be successful and to be healed and to be healthy and cancer free and it worked and five years later uh, the chances of my cancer returning are very 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 slim so I'm a blessed man, but I put myself in a position, I believe, to be blessed. So that's all about mindset. Secondly, I talk about in this chapter roadblocks. And what I mean by that is mental roadblocks. And if you've ever read anything about what I produced before, you'll know that I believe the power of the conscious and subconscious mind and the subconscious drives your conscious to be on autopilot. So it's very important to look at your roadblocks. And one of the biggest roadblocks we all face is our love-hate relationship with money. And money is nothing more than a physical form of exchange of value. That's all it is. It's a piece of paper. The more value you give, the more value you get and receive in the form of a little piece of paper for money. So what I would invite you to do is a little exercise. Sit down and write down your 20 earliest memories of money. What were you taught by your parents, your teachers, and others? And you're going to find, if you really identify them, most of them are negative and create a negative mindset. Money is the root of all evil, which is not true. <clears throat> or the fact that, um, what do you think you are? Rich, you may have heard that from your parents. Uh, most images about money are based upon scarcity. And if you look at the root of the word scarcity, it's it would be scared. And that's how we affect our daily lives with our relationship of money. There's an abundance of money. They're printing it every single day. When you say money doesn't grow on trees, if they're printing it every day, what's the difference between a printing press and a tree? It's the amount of value. My mentor, the late great Jim Rohn said, you don't get paid by the hour, you get paid by the value you bring to the hour, which isn't true no matter what you do in life. And if you can take these roadblocks and you can write them down on a board and then erase that board and come back with a positive mindset without those limitations. You'll see that everything you do or don't do in your life, you succeed, don't succeed, fail at, 
It's because of your mental belief system and your subconscious uh, diagramming of your conscious to make certain choices, both good or bad. It could be diets, it could be goals, it could be anything you're looking to do. So I invite you to look at your relationship with money and to begin to create a clear picture and create a superstar mindset. I also talk about what um, is a game of your life. If you're the coach of this game, if you're playing in this game, uh, you're the star of this game, you're the quarterback of this game, so you're the star. But then all the other players, all the other assistant coaches, all the people watching the game, they're part of that game too. And then you have a coach. Well, the way I liken it is you as a quarterback playing in this game, you are the conscious mind. But the coach is the subconscious mind. And in this game, you're both the quarterback and the coach. So you may make a conscious choice, but reality is that coach always calls the plays. And so he tries to determine which way this game is going to go. So what I would invite you to do is to think of how you can start to become the coach with your subconscious to dominate your conscious choice that as a quarterback you make when you make your decisions. To do that, you have to really bombard your subconscious with the positive image of whatever it is that you want. You could do this by writing. You could do this by visualizing. You could do this in getting education into your brain through CDs, DVDs, attending seminars, but massively overwhelm your brain, your subconscious, with the images that you want that will now influence the conscious choices that you make. You know, I often talk that kids are the best example of this. My son Jake, when he was a very young kid, was at the pool at the Y, and they have a very high, high dive uh, that you dive off of into the deep end. And all the adults were telling him not to get up there, that that was scary, that you shouldn't do that, you could get hurt. But in his mindset, he just saw it as something to overcome, that that wasn't scary, and if it was, that he could still do it. So they're almost screaming at him not to dive. And what this was about was more the limitations of the adults than the child. Now, <clears throat> you should have some recognition of safety and risk, but he knew this wasn't going to kill him. It could hurt, and he dove off and it did hurt. But he got back and he did it again, and then it didn't hurt. And then he did a flip, and guess what? It hurt. But then he did it again, and it didn't hurt. This was all about a child being able to easily get past mental roadblocks that adults could not. And that's what I invite you to write down. What are your roadblocks? And get past them. Clear them today. Work on that if you work on nothing else. And you will begin to create a superstar mindset. Once again, this is Mark Tuart, and I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. And I want to offer you some free bonuses, and I want to offer you the first chapter of this book for free. And if you go to superstarbookvideo.com, once again, that's superstarbookvideo.com, you could get that first chapter for free, and you could get bonuses and get all the information that you want. I appreciate it. Have a great year. Get through your mindset of uh, roadblocks and create a superstar mindset.